Hello, here's a review of a 10 watt LED and uh, you can see the LED here and the tabs on the side are uh, clearly marked for the positive and, and negative. This particular one is a, a warm white LED and it's the 9 to 12 volts uh, version. Uh, you'll see on the on the web page that there are four different options that you can order. Firstly, the color, either uh, standard sort of white and the, the warm white, which I prefer for this particular application. I uh, find the, the, the normal white a little bit clinical. And uh, also, you can choose the voltage. As I say, this one is the 9 to 12 volt version. There is another version which is uh, 32 to 36 volts. And this is determined by the way the, the grid of uh, LEDs within the module is uh, are, are connected in this particular instance if we bring the power up um, we can see on the on the voltage there at the moment just under seven volts if we bring that up slightly we'll see that the leds start to to strike to to, to glow so we can see that clearly inside the module there are in fact nine individual leds and in this configuration, there are three LEDs in, a, in series and three LEDs in parallel. So the three strips of, of three, if you will. And we know that the forward voltage drop uh, across an individual LED is going to be in the region of uh, 3.2, 3.5 volts. And that determines that if there's three in, in a row, then the minimum voltage is going to be nine and the maximum uh, is going to be 12. Perhaps also worth mentioning that um, there's a very crude measure of the, the quality of LEDs is the, the, the point that they all, all start to light up. So here we can see that uh, pretty much they all start at the same time, which is a, a rough measure of, uh, of, of quality. If you get some really uh, cheap and nasty LEDs, you'll see that they all strike at, uh, at different voltages and uh, that's not so not so good. So now I have the LED mounted on a, on a heatsink. Uh, as it's a 10 watt LED it will be dissipating about 10 watts. Uh, so it's going to get warm and I'm going to be putting it in an enclosure so a heatsink is necessary for this purpose. Now what I'm going to drive it with is um, an LED driver module. I'll put a link in the description to uh, to that. And with a little meter here, measuring the input voltage, which is 12.6. So ultimately, I want to be driving this LED from a three-cell LiPo. So um, that's going to have a, a maximum voltage of 12.6. We can see the voltage of the output of the, of the driver module. And as per the specs on the website, uh, we're going to need to set that for 12 volts. This is the, the left-hand potentiometer sets the output voltage. So now we're at 12 volts. The next important setting, the meter on the right-hand side, is measuring current. So I'm going to put that directly across the output now to set the output current. So now with the current meter directly across the output, we can see uh, LED indicating at the top there, the red one, that uh, it's now in its constant current mode. And we can see that it's currently set to uh, half an amp. So we're going to need to turn that up now to our 0.9 of an amp. And that's with the far right hand potentiometer. So having set that to the output current limit that we want, it's now time to put it across the LED itself. So now I'm going to switch on the, the power. And yes, that is very bright indeed. Blimey, that's bright. 
So we can see on the right hand meter that the, uh, the output current is limited now to the 0.9 of an amp. And uh, yes, that is very bright indeed. So now I'm going to get this module and uh, put it inside an old torch, I think, and uh, see, see how that works.